The top doctor in Tarrant County recommends schools go back to remote learning only and not wait for COVID-19 outbreaks that he thinks are likely coming. Hello everybody, I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager, it's nine o'clock. The Tarrant County Health Director told county commissioners increases in cases in schools, hospitalization, and positivity rates and other indicators are starting to surpass the thresholds they follow for the safety of students. Dr. Vinny Taneha also said last month he personally would not send his own children to campuses until there's a vaccine. Other parents, though, might not agree with him. Fox 4 Stephen Dial is in South Lake tonight with details and reaction from some school districts. Stephen. Steve, Tarrant County has a higher positivity rate than the state average, and Dr. Tanasia says that students need to learn virtually, all of them. As, as for if that will happen, we are still waiting for more from the school districts. Tens of thousands of students are attending school in person in Tarrant County. A small number of them started in August. Many more joined in September and October. Fall sports were phased in. Tuesday, County Public Health Director Dr. Vinny Tanasia described a concerning future. Almost all the indicators are confirming that the data is not conducive for in-person learning. There's too much disease activity in our community. That could lead to major outbreaks in the school setting if we continue on in-person learning. Tarrant County has an 11% positivity rate and more than 1,100 virus cases among Tarrant County schools, a 33% increase from a week ago. When it comes to schools, Dr. Tanasia's recommendation is that schools go virtual learning only. So that data dashboard turned red about four weeks ago. The dashboard keeps track of COVID spread and recommendations. Just about every school district in the county has COVID cases. UT Southwestern Medical Center's new COVID model is forecasting that hospitalizations in Tarrant and Dallas counties will increase in the next two weeks to early August levels. The report says North Texas hospitalizations are up nearly 20% compared to a week ago and nearly 40% over the next two weeks. Friday's nationally televised football game between Denton Geyer and South Lake Carroll has been canceled because of COVID cases. The South Lake Carroll COVID dashboard shows 40 active cases in the district, 25 students and 15 staff. The district did not respond to our request for a comment. In reaction to Dr. Tanaja's comments, Arlington ISD Superintendent Dr. Marcelo Cavazzo said, learning the news today, we will continue to consult with our local health experts to review all of our safety protocols to ensure individuals on our campuses are as safe as possible. Fort Worth ISD said in a statement, we are very aware of the extent of the virus in our community. We are maintaining the in-person and virtual models and can switch at any time the board believes that to be in the best interest of our students. It is up to each school district to decide a decision for if classes will remain hybrid or virtually only. Tanasia says he stands by his recommendation to go virtual only. The school should be preparing for a virtual learning environment. Uh, as you know, we head into fall and flu season is going to be upon us, which every year, even without COVID, we have situations with the flu within our schools. And this is going to be a double situation to deal with. So they should be ready and prepared to go to, uh, you know, a virtual learning environment. And when asked about Tanasia's comments, Tarrant County Judge Glenn Whitley says that he hopes and knows that the school boards at all of the districts will do what's in the best interest of the student, but gave no further opinion. Steve.